Now let's walk through setting up Lookout for Work for Android Enterprise, which is what we're mainly going to be focused on. Now they have, you get different things based on the enrollment type. Keep in mind Android Enterprise is required for anything Android 10 and above. And depending on you do work manager, work profile, you have their different capabilities, which I'll, I'll send a link to an article on that. But we're mainly just going to focus on doing this via Workspace ONE with Android Enterprise. Interestingly enough, you can actually download the APK and deploy it that way as an internal app, or you can deploy it as a public app. Uh, I don't have access to the APK, so I'm not going to do that. But you'll see here, if I've already gone and deployed it for the Workspace ONE catalog. And so now let's just go through the assign process, which is very similar to the iOS version. Right? Look out for work. I'm going to use the same smart group. I'm going to enable manage access. And then let's go through the app config. Okay, so you can see here you have all these different fields, which is kind of neat that they've actually improved this over with some of the documentation and stuff shows you. So MDM name is going to be AirWatch, all caps. Device ID. Let's see if they have it. So we can just do it this way. Yep, device UID. Actually, it should be device UUID. So don't get confused by that one. That one can throw you off. Then for global enrollment code, we'll put that in. So we got our global enrollment code. And then where it says HSM key value, false. And then you said create and you hit save. No big deal, pretty easy, right? One other part is if you want to have a nice little zero click experience, we'll do something similar to what we did with iOS. So we're going to do a new profile. We're going to select Android. I'm going to call this Lookout for Work. We're going to leave OEM deactivated. Profile scope is production. So if we go down, we look. let's look for permissions. So under add, we're going to go here and we're going to select grant all permissions. Then under select app area, we're going to put in look out for work, which is great. Next, we're going to go into custom settings and then you get this little code box. We're going to hit add. If you're not used to it, you just got to click add up there in the corner. And we're going to put in a little bit of custom code here. And then we're going to hit next. Put in John test. Then auto. All good. Save and publish. Then it's just that simple. And you're ready to go with your Android devices.